Hello, everybody. Oh, hello. Today we are doing another pack opening, as might be evidenced by the different background. I guess this will be my pack opening background. It's another vivid voltage box. I, you know, I was gonna say like we could do adjust the hits, but with the amazing rares being in the reverse slot, I think uh, I'm just gonna do another regular, regular opening. But we'll, we might speed through this one a little bit faster because I think we've all seen the regular stuff. So uh, yeah. Also, just want to give a shout out to Channel Pokemon. Channel Pokemon supports this channel, uh, and I make budget deck videos for them on their YouTube channel. So you can go check that out. Go watch whatever budget deck video uh, I'm putting out this week. I do it weekly. Uh, and you can sign up for Channel Fireball Pro. Use the code GIROSHAN. If you do, that supports me directly. $10 a month uh, uh, gets you access to a bunch of stuff, plus tournaments that they might be putting on sometime in the near future, hopefully by the time this video comes out. Uh, but yeah, just uh, go, go do that if you wanna help out the channel. But without further ado, let's get into the box. All right, so we are just yeah, cracking open this, this box right now. I am debating whether or not to keep my last one sealed at the moment, but I'm still missing three of the amazing rares. I'm missing Raikou, Zacian, what else am I missing? Raikou, Zacian, and Celebi. I don't have a Celebi either. So, you know, I really want to pull those and send them in to get graded myself. I don't want to buy them or anything like that. So I am probably going to maybe open up the last box. I don't think I'm going to get all three of those in one box. So, uh, you know, we'll see. We'll see what we get. But uh, I definitely want to keep at least one or two boxes of Vivid Voltage sealed long term. Uh, I just think it is going to be a set that will do well in the long term. Um, it doesn't have a Charizard in it, but it does have Pikachu, and it has the amazing rares, which, yes, they're two a box. Yes, they are just like the um, Prism Stars in terms of rarity, but they just look so much cooler than Prism Stars. Not the cool Prism Stars don't look fine. It's just, you know, the amazing rares are awesome Pokemon, super colorful and bright. Um, so... Now, the last time we opened up, we got our Amazing Rare super early. So, uh, you know, I would like to not get everything super early uh, because it just makes the rest of the box so much more boring, right? But uh, we are going to try to speed round this one. Code cards for y'all. I'm also speed rounding it because, you know, I might be recording a couple of these in a row since I have this setup all done. Uh, but we talked about some of the cards that are going to be more or less playable. Now, by the time this comes out, we will know a little bit better what is a good and what is a bad deck coming out of this set. Uh, but what I will do in this video as we open these packs, I will give you my thoughts as to uh, what decks I predict will be good. Now, I talked about this on the podcast, Metapod. I don't talk about the podcast enough on my YouTube, but I have a podcast. It's called Metapod. Link in the description if you like podcasts and you want to hear me and my co-host Jake, uh, Trisha's Jake on Twitch, uh, just talk about the uh, the card game. But yeah, we talked about our uh, we talked about our uh, picks for like what we think are going to be good decks. We both agreed that ADPZ and Luke Metal Zacian are basically both poised to either stay at the top with ADPZ. I think Luke Metal might actually be a better deck than ADPZ after this set, though. Aegislash V and VMAX. Hopefully, we can pull one so I can show you. Uh, but Aegislash V allows you to hit through those uh, Decidueyes and Obstagoons, and the VMAX is a really get great late game closer. You get the Metal Coating Energy, which, uh, oh, another Orbital V. Okay, I have three of those now. Um, you get the Metal Coating Energy, which stops weakness. It's just. And you have Sir Chester Bath, which adds 20 uh, damage reduction. So if you have, say, metal goggles on your Pokemon uh, and you full metal wall, your metal Pokemon are taking 60 less damage then, right? Add the Sir Chester Bath and they're taking 80 less damage. And now they can hit through Decidueye and Obstagoon with a Pokemon that can like almost one-shot them. So it's just... Taking 80 less damage is gross. That deck is going to be broken. So honestly, I'm going to go ahead and predict that that will be one of the top decks, if not the top deck in the first week or two coming out of Vivid Voltage releasing. 
Um, so we'll see how this holds up uh, when I actually end up publishing this video. So, uh, but that just gives you a look behind the hood too at how, uh, how far in advance I might record some of these things. Uh, partially just because I have to move certain aspects of the setup. It's not as cumbersome as it was. Yo! Okay. Okay. Oh, that's beautiful. We got the Celebi. Amazing rare now. Oh my gosh, that's gorgeous. And I think this was a white code. No, no, it wasn't. But boy, howdy, that, that, that. Let me let me just get you a close up there on that Celebi. Amazing rare. Oh my gosh. It's beautiful. Um, I think this one is actually more centered than the other. So definitely, uh, definitely gonna sleeve this one up. Wow, that's just, that's beautiful. Now let me find, let me grab a sleeve real quick for that. Cause like I was saying, I want to grade the ones that I pull, even if they're not perfect. I just wanna grade them for my own, my own enjoyment, right? So uh, we have four amazing rares. We need Raikou and Zacian, and that is it. That's the only two that we need left. Uh, and I've got two uh, Rayquazas, so that is one Celebi down. That is nice. This is a grass box thus far, Celebi and Orbital V. So we'll see what else we can pull. Maybe a Zarud in this box in the Orbital V Max. Still haven't pulled the Aegis Slash V Max, which um, I definitely want. Definitely want to get that. But anyways, Luke Metal Zacian um, is one of my top picks for a deck that I think is going to be amazing. Um, another top pick, ADPZ is obvious, uh, but another top pick I have is, I think Inteleon VMAX gets way better, partially because I think Colossal will make Picaram, it will really put the pressure on Picaram in ways that just doing a lot of damage, yeah, you can put pressure on Picaram that way. But hitting for weakness for one energy to knock it out, that is the kind of pressure Picaram has not really faced from a meta deck. Uh, most decks don't face one energy KOs from a meta deck, let's be frank. Um, so I think that will certainly put a lot of pressure onto Picaram because Colossal VMAX is another deck that I think could see a lot of success. Now, I think I wanna go out on a limb and say Colossal VMAX might do well weekend one, but I actually think Colossal BMX will get better as people find the list for it. Um, I think Luke Metal Zacian is an immediate tier one. Whereas I think, you know, Colossal VMAX might be a give it a few weeks kind of deck, um, you know, maybe a month or two before, uh, before you really know how good that card is. Uh, but I do think it is very good. I personally prefer, you know, one, two, a Rangaroo, I think is right, and B, but I'm sure there will be other lists, uh, other energy acceleration that I'm not thinking of. So we shall see. Those are my three. Uh, anything else, I would say Togekiss could see some limited success um, for Handlock, but I don't know if you're doing enough damage and pulling off Handlock is such a hard thing to do. And to build a deck around that is, you know, it takes, it takes, uh, Take some big brain thinking, and uh, that's not always easy. Um, so, but I think Togekiss could see some success. Uh, outside of that, um, people were given Orbital V Max some love, but I just don't see it. I'm going to be honest. You're weak to fire. That's not. That's never good in this format. You have Welder, so if you're weak to fire, that's always bad. Um, you could attach Weakness Guard Energy to it for its attack, but doesn't matter. Um, <laughs> And then uh, ooh, we get we got a Togekiss V. Ah, yeah, very nice. Okay, that's awesome. All right. Um, but I just think that Orbital V Max it just doesn't really do enough damage. Plus, you're only putting that one damage counter to all the Pokemon, which it's all right. But I don't know. I'm just not seeing it. I'm not seeing it. I just think some some Pokemon some decks you'll f face up against. Um, are just going to be able to handle that one damage counter well enough um, and take the prizes fast enough where it won't matter. So, just sort of my thought on that. And then a Regirock. Okay. Um, so that one I don't see in Galarian Dermanitan. As much as I love the dang card, 
The fact that Luke Metal Zacian of all cards, like an all metal type deck, is a poised to be tier one, I think rules Galarian Darmanitan straight Darmanitan out completely. And honestly, it even makes um, Inteleon really a tough pick. I love Inteleon, but you're just, if you're doing 80 less damage, potentially, um, that's just, that's awful. That's awful. And even with the goggles, it's just you're doing like only minimal damage. Oh, another Colossal V. Uh, you're doing just minimal damage to the bench still. It's bad. It's bad. Um, so my gut would say that Luke Metal Zacian is what I would play weekend one at uh, if I was going to a tournament. So we'll see. We'll see what people do. I think it's the most familiar deck and uh, the one that is the most obvious to upgrade. Now, there's a few decks. There's like amazing rare box that I would love to see somebody pull it off. Um, but I just don't know exactly how you would build it. Um, ooh, Hollow Snorlax. I just don't know exactly how you would build it and then how that really competes in the meta proper. Cool concept, right? Um, I think if you were doing a non-ADP, that's going to be the problem, right? Is that, you know, stage one, stage two suffer against ADP. And I think Amazing Rare Box would have the same problem in that it's a weird setup deck because you have to you run all these different types of energy. So getting all of that set up against a deck that only needs to take three prizes, basically, in a whole game... Yeah, it's just not good. It's just not good. So, got Alistair and a Bennett. Okay. So, really, we got a few Vs, which is not bad, but Celebi has by far been the hit of this box. So, we shall see what else we can get rolling as we uh, get towards the end of the first half of this box. Oh, don't want to forget Mag Cargo. See if we can get a another Leon or a second Charizard out of this box from what I got before. Lots of Don fans, not a lot of Charizards. That non-hollow Charizard is kind of hard to come by. All right, another green code card, but maybe not online. If y'all redeem that. Um, okay, we got League staff. Yeah, okay, okay. We know the drill. We got it. So it seems though like the amazing rares, at least from the few boxes that I've opened, three now, um, the amazing rares seem to be spaced out where there's almost always one near the top. Um, so you will get one early. So if you are, I mean, I don't know. I haven't opened up a hundred boxes, but in my limited capacity, if I were to be in a store for whatever reason uh, and pulling packs, I would try to pull from a fresh box near the front, the first like five or six packs on the row. Um, because that seems to be where at least one of them almost always is. Dusknoir, okay. Is on that sort of front section. And then the second one can kind of be anywhere. I had a middle and then I had a back, but consistently there's been one within the first three or four or five packs. So definitely worth a, uh, keeping in mind maybe i don't know i'm probably spewing some nonsense though <laughs> to be honest all right what else do you got going on here first jolteon and an explode two packs left on this side we're going to end it on the chunk of chew so uh still no full art still no secret rares nothing like that so i'm hoping that this side of the box is uh, the, the not so awesome side. Now the other side is gonna have all the VMAXs and secret rares and full arts, all that stuff. So we'll see, we'll see. Voltorb, reverse Beedrill. Wow, interesting. And then the Whimsicott. Beedrill is an interesting card. It's the last card in you can, your hand, you can put it onto your bench and uh, draw three. So, hmm. kinda interesting. And another green, okay. So this side of the box, I would not want to have pulled from this side. I mean, the Celebi's cool, but generally that, that side of the box was not the good side thus far, unless this has another amazing rare. That was the poop side of the box. And then the other side is where all the bangers are. 
as I live and breathe. Amazing rare Zacian. Oh my gosh, that is gorgeous. That is just, look at that. So beautiful. Sword Doggo in all of Sword Doggo's glory. Very nice looking card there. Woo. Okay. All right. Let's uh, let's get a sleeve out. Come on now. Yo, Sword Doggo in the house. Okay. So I take it back. That was not a crap side of the box. Uh, that was a double amazing rare side of the box. Now the question is, is this one of those elusive four amazing rare boxes? That would be gas. That would be amazing. So if I can complete all my amazing rares, then I can keep that box closed that I have the last one. Dreadnought and a Zygarde, okay. Um, that would be nice. All I need is the Raikou. So I have five of the six already. And just so, so you out there are, are watching uh, can know, you usually get two in a box of the Amazing Rares. And so I have five of the six. I have six Amazing Rares total. And uh, this is my third box. So I was very lucky in that I didn't get a ton of dupes. Although if you want to play, like getting a bunch of Jirachi dupes is great, right? Uh, but... If you're just trying to collect and want to get one of everything, I've been very lucky in the respect that I have only gotten one duplicate Amazing Rare. Yo, Pikachu VMAX. It's not Rainbow Rare Chonkachu, but it's Chonkachu. It's Chonkachu. Chonkachu in the house. Okay, there we go. Let's get that close to the camera. Let's let you have a look at this big old Pikachu. I like it, I like it. Okay. Okay, so. First VMAX, and it's a chunk of you. I don't have any Pikachu VMAXs, so that was cool to pull. So the last VMAX I want to say I have not pulled is Aegislash VMAX. It's the only VMAX I have left to pull. Um, I pulled one Pikachu V. Now, the full arts is kind of a crapshoot, right? Like, you need a bunch of boxes to get all the full arts because, you know, you might just get one in a box and... Uh, who knows what that's gonna be and yeah. But if I had to, to hope, I would love to get the Pikachu full art, the Pikachu V full art in this box. Ooh, that would be, that would be nice. And in terms of all the full arts in this set, Galarian Surfetch, I pulled it yesterday. It's really nice. The Galarian Surfetch full art is very nice. The Alakazam was very nice. That Pikachu full art though is gonna be very nice. So definitely at the top of my list of full arts to pull. Um, Leon and Nessa, shout out to Jake. Uh, Nessa full art, if I pull that, I'll certainly let you know before this video goes up. Uh, we got a Woobat and we got an Electrode, okay. A very playable card there with that Buzz Zap generator ability. So you got the Pikachu and the Electrode in the same box, huh? Interesting, interesting. having an idea for a deck as well. Uh, you play some reset stamps, you play Electrode, you play Togekiss, blow yourself up a few times, power up uh, Togekiss and maybe a Boltend uh, or maybe a Pikachu VMAX or something. So you have something that can control what you have in hand for a couple turns. Yo, reverse Charizard. That is a very nice pull. That is a very nice pull. And a Galarian Darmanitan V. You know, I'm going to sleeve that Charizard. Uh, I don't think it's going to be nearly as valuable as some of the stuff out there. But people be crazy for Charizard right now. So uh, maybe I'll just get this graded for funsies. A reverse Charizard. Okay. Awesome. That was a good pack. Reverse Charizard and Galarian Darmanitan V. Solid. Solid pack there. But yeah, Electrode, Pikachu, and Togekiss would be a cool deck, right? Electrode powers up uh, Pikachu. You can power up Togekiss by manually attaching just for two turns because it only needs two energy. You can go get whatever you want in your hand for all of that. Man, just saying, there's something there. There's something there. The reverse Swooper and a Dreadnought. Okay. 
Should have known that would have been nothing. I probably saw that it was a green code card. All right, another green. But you know, maybe this is, like I said, maybe it's a four amazing rare box. Maybe I'm just, maybe I'm just that lucky. Oh, I've, I've been enjoying this so much more than Champion's Path. Like, Hidden Fates was kind of worth the headache of finding the cards because at least you got a lot of good cards when you found it with all the shinies and, oh my gosh, the shiny set that's coming out in February here. Oh my gosh, my bank account, why, why? But it, it is gonna be an awesome set. Um, definitely something that I wanna make sure I pre-order enough of from a variety of folks, just to make sure I get it. But yeah, very cool set. Um, but yeah, like Hidden Fates at least gave you some good stuff. Um, even when you didn't get the best rare slot, you could still pull some other stuff and it's like, okay, cool. But Champion's Path is it's all or nothing, really. Like, it's the most all or nothing set I've ever opened. And it's mostly nothing, let's be honest. So, another white code card. So, we still have a full art, or secret rares, any of that stuff that we can pull. We did not pull a secret rare in our last box. So, obviously, you don't get one every time. Did not get a rainbow, did not get a gold. But uh, these all, I'm assuming, came from the same case. So, it would be weird to get two in a row. It's another Togekiss V. Two Togekisses in one box is a bit odd. Feels feels a little random, but I mean, hey, if you're looking to build a playset, that's always nice. Um, we are getting down to the bottom here. Another white code card, though. So we've not pulled a full art yet. Uh, we have not pulled a yeah. So I think we're due for some some real good stuff potentially. So fingers crossed. Full Art Nessa, Full Art Leon also would be cool. Reverse Grap Locked. Yo! I say that, and then I realize I already have a Full Art Beauty. I don't need you. You're not playable. You're not even that pretty. You're not that interesting of a character. I'm really bashing on beauty right now, but it's not the Full Art you want to pull. It's like pulling Full Art Channeler or Full Art Grimsley. You're like, ugh. It's just nothing about you that's interesting. Sorry, beauty, but it's true. All right. Let's see here. Got a few packs left. Let's see what we can get in these. Choodle, Clobopus. Yo, another Charizard. Okay. This is a double Charizard box. I'll keep that down there. I'm not going to sleeve it. I'm not going to sleeve a second Charizard, but this is a two Charizard box, which is uh, stonks. I don't know. It's like a non hollow rare Charizard. So out of three boxes, I have three Charizards now. Uh, so if that tells you anything about building that Charizard, again, I will say, buy the theme deck. Reverse Kakuna, Lucario. Okay. We got three packs left. Still, still looking for a uh, uh, secret rare potentially. So we will see. I think uh, it would be really strange to get two boxes in a row that don't have a secret rare. I mean, it's possible, obviously. But one VMAX, one Full Art. Uh, I mean, the, the, that wouldn't be a great box. This would not be a great box. Reverse Electrode is nice, though. And Banette. Two playable cards there. Two rares uh, in this one. So we'll save Chonky Pikachu for last. Maybe, maybe this is the secret rare Pikachu box, right? Oh, we got a white code, so there's always a chance. There's always a chance. There's always money in the banana stand. Shout out to you if you got that pretty obvious reference. And if you didn't, well... Yo! Gold Obstagoon! All right, so I have the gold monkey, and now I have the gold... Whatever an Obstagoon is, I don't I don't know what kind of Pokemon, but it's a gold Obstagoon. That's cool. That's awesome. Shiny Obstagoon, all in gold. You know, people were saying, oh, they're making a shiny Oranguru in the shiny set. And I'm like, we have shiny Oranguru in gold. Why would I want the other shiny? I have a better shiny at home. Okay, so 
I don't think this this shiny this chonky Pikachu is gonna be much, but let's see. Nope, green code. But but always the the, the very slight possibility of an amazing rare here. Okay, okay. Blitzel, Milsuri, Skiddo. Nope, no amazing rare. Just a grab lock. I think I ended on a grab lock on the last video. But uh, yeah, that's the uh, that's the pulls. Love those two amazing rares and the reverse Charizard and uh, Chunky Pikachu. You can never go wrong with a Chunky Pikachu. But thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, subscribe, all that stuff. Check out my Patreon if you want to get some of these codes early because that's where I publish them early. Um, and yeah, just uh, hopefully you enjoyed this. I enjoyed it. Uh, and I will see you all in a future video. Carpe awesome.